Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Columbus Crew 3, LAFC 1 in the Leagues Cup 2024 final. Columbus Crew are your champions of the 2024 Leagues Cup. Ganador, campeón de la Leagues Cup, Columbus Crew, Columbus Crew 3, LAFC 1 in la final de la Leagues Cup. Columbus wins. They are your champions. They get the round of 16 slot for the CONCACAF Champions Cup next year. Whether they win the MLS Cup or not, we'll see what happens. That'll be interesting. But Columbus are in LAFCR as well, but they're in round one. Colorado winning the penalty shootout in round one as well. But Columbus crew, this was a tale of two halves um, up until stoppage time. Up until stoppage time, this game was a tale of two halves. First half was mostly Columbus. Second half was mostly LAFC. Once Mario came off injured and Atuesta came on off at halftime for O'Brien, which they were probably the two players that led to Columbus really having the half they did. And they could have been leading by more than one. The fact it was only 1-0 was crazy. The first half, Columbus, LAFC was playing into Columbus's hands. LAFC were slow walking it. Columbus were all over them, just like the MLS Cup Final last year. It was pretty similar to the MLS Cup Final, that first half of the game. The second half, LAFC were the better side. LAFC were all over them. They should have scored more than one goal. They had an offside goal that didn't count. They had a goal that Buwanga could have scored that went straight to Hagen because he jumped into it. He made the right jump at the right time. 1-1 going into stoppage time. Columbus shuts the damn door at home quickly. Goals are scored as follows. In the 44th minute, Cucho Hernandez scores. Ball crossed in. Cucho heads it in to make it 1-0. Uno Acero, beautiful header by Cucho Hernandez. They had some really good chances in this half, but at least they get one. Cucho with a goal. Beautiful goal. Pops it in there. 1-0. Halftime, 1-0. Uno Acero. They have the lead. 56th minute, Olivier Giroud, a header as well. Ball crossed in. Giroud's right there. He heads it in. Hagen's screened. He doesn't make the jump quick enough. He doesn't know what's coming. Giroud heads it in. About classic as you would expect for him. 1-1, one, one, uno, uno. Then, in stoppage time, 90 plus 3, Cucho Hernandez has the ball. He takes the shot, lofts it over Larice. Larice thinks that Jason's going to head it in at the doorstep. Just a teensy bit to the side of Larice. It curls in 2-1, to one, Dulce Uno. Beautiful goal by Cucho. And then a minute later, Cucho Hernandez has the ball on a breakaway. Crosses it over, plays it over to Jason Russell Rose. Says, hey, Jason, sorry you didn't get the header. I'll give you this one. Jason Russell Rose slots it home, bangs it home. The Canadian, the good old Canadian boy brings them the obvious win, shuts down the game, puts the nail in LAFC's coffin. 3-1, 3-1, beautiful goal by Jason Russell Rowe. Cucho with the assist. Full-time, 3-1, 3-1, Columbus, the champions of League's Cup. Full-time stats are as follows. 12 shots to 9, 5 shots on goal to 4, 62% possession to 38% possession. 479 pass to 292, 86% pass accuracy to 72%, 8 fouls to 20, 2 offside to 1, 1 yellow card to 2, 0 red card to 0, 4 corners to 3. Let me tell you, this game again was a tale of two halves. And I really think... Atuesta and Mario were the players that you could tell they were arguing with each other during the cooling break. They both had a bad first half. They both had the team, LAFC, absolutely shaky. Like they were, I wouldn't say the absolute reason, but this team was shaky. And it's all basically because Atuesta and Mario, who are two of the stalwarts of the team, always have been, were shaky. They had a horrible performance. Atuesta was, this is the worst I've ever seen him play. This is the worst I've ever seen Edward Atuesta play. And yes, he was in the Brasileiro for a couple of years. So I may have missed some bad performances at Palmeiras, which maybe that's why he got to go back to LAFC. But I've never seen him play this bad in a black and gold shirt or a white and gold shirt or a white and gray shirt. Whatever they wore, I've never seen him play bad in a LAFC shirt. I've never seen it. 
this was the first bad game he's had. And this is, I think, he did not play against Leon. This is the first Confederation Continental Final he has played with LAFC. Ironically enough, if he played against Tigres, they would have been CONCACAF champions. Ironically enough, I can't say he's the reason they lost, but he's definitely the reason Columbus dominated in the first half, which that goal matters. That goal matters. That goal help them take the lead late and take the wind out of LAFC sails, then score on the counter and put the nail in the coffin. So really, it's him. If you really want to be honest, it's ironic. LAFC were right there, and they still haven't won a Continental Trophy. They were right there. And the guy who would have won them one four years ago, 3.8, whatever the hell, four years ago, if he played, did not help them deny not covering yourself in glory, I gotta say. Mario, he got hurt. I don't think he was the one who needed to come off instantly. I would have done the same that Chirondolo did. Give Mario a chance to play himself back into the match without Atuesta, with O'Brien in midfield, which they looked better with O'Brien in midfield and even with Mario on. He just got injured. Segura was okay. He was better than I expected, but that's probably what Mario would have been had he not gotten hurt. So I don't think that one's totally on him. I'm more mad at Atuesta. If I'm an LAFC fan, I'm mad at him. I'm, I'm not happy with him. I'm not happy with him. O'Brien would have won them this game. If O'Brien played 90 minutes, they arguably, I don't think Columbus would have had a foothold, ironically enough. And you say, but they still won 3-1. That one goal that Cucho got, the fact it was 1-1, gave them a chance to have it be a bit more open that LAFC weren't sitting back and Columbus had to go against a brick wall. They had a chance to score late because it was 1-1. You're hoping for penalties, right, but both teams are going to be open. They're going to leave some guys out to try to get that late goal. And that's what happened. It wasn't a brick wall. If it's 1-0 LAFC, it's probably a brick wall, right? It's probably a brick wall. Cucho doesn't get that shot off, and the screen isn't there. And arguably, you could say maybe they should have checked that screen. Fair, but that screen isn't there. So, so in that sort of way, if he's not there, if he's not there, and it's a brick wall, it stays 1-0, LAFC wins. It's that simple. It's the fine margins. It's the fine margins that decide championships. And Columbus, right now, are the better team in the fine margins. LAFC, whether it was under Bradley or Sherundolo, they're, they're not the team within the fine margins. They are not the same team within the fine margins. They get all these players, a laundry list of big players, and they don't find it because they just don't have the those small metrics, those small margins are just not for them. They wilt. Even under Bradley. Bradley's a crap manager, but they wilted. They were good enough to carry that guy to conference finals and Champions League finals and all that. They still wilted. Sharundalo's a fraud. They wilt. Buwanga's a great footballer, but what did he do tonight? Nothing. What did Giroud do tonight? He got a goal. Not much else. He started. Nothing much else. Kai Kamara looked more lively up there, I'd have to say. So the question is, is why are these fine margins never going LAFC's way? The fine margins that they play in are not going their way. And that's a problem. Because if the fine margins, Columbus have them, Cucho, great player, Rossi, great player. But I think the big thing is that LAFC do not play like a team. They never have. They play like a cadre of stars wearing the same jersey. But whenever the going gets tough, you have to be on the same page. And I don't think they are. Whether it's Sharundalo or Bradley, I don't think they're on the same page when the going gets tough. You say, what about MLS Cup? Philly's always been frauds. It was, it was a match of frauds. It was a match of frauds. I don't think LAFC really felt... Oh, by the way, it was at their stadium. I don't think they felt fine margins, and Gareth Bale saved their ass. 
Gareth Bale's known to do stuff like that. He's known to save your ass. He's known. Do you not remember Champions League final Kiev or Kiev? The Champions League final in Kiev. Do you not remember? He saved Real Madrid's ass. Also doesn't hurt that Loris Carius threw it away, but he saved their ass. He saved their ass. Right? So, right, right. So the question is, when it comes down to it, where is it land? Where does it land? The players that are good in the fine margins are not there anymore. Gareth Bale, Carlos Vela, I'd say he was good during the fine margins. Nobody else, really. Like, the fine margins are the thing that hurts LAFC. When the going gets tough, they wilt. And that's the problem. The going gets tough, they wilt. Columbus does not wilt. The going got tough in the second half. Oh, it sure did. It sure got tough. But they didn't wilt. They allowed a goal. They didn't wilt. They had a chance to attack late on. And they're like, no, we're not going to penalties. What, who do you think we are? We're at home. We're going to make these fans go berserk. And they did. Cucho Hernandez makes the last stand. Scores. A minute later, they get a rebound. Or they get a quick chance to tie the game. Or take the lead 3-1, right? And that's exactly what they did. It's exactly what they did. They knew exactly what they were doing. Jason Russell Rowe gets the dagger. It's over. It's over. And... They take the lead. They put the dagger in within four minutes in stoppage time. You want to talk about a Tobias time moment? That was it. That was it. You could tell when LAFC gave up that goal. The wind just flew out of their sails. I wasn't surprised that a second goal happened in that interim period, but I knew it was probably going to be Columbus. I didn't say, oh, there will be no more goals for two minutes. No, I, I kind of thought, no, LAFC ain't scoring again. But that's exactly what I said is they ain't scoring again. Columbus, though, did because they were like, oh, the wind's out of your sails. We'll throw the knockout blow, finish him, rip him apart. For the crime of tying us at home, I sentence you to death instead of the eye, you know, and just rip them apart. That's what they did. Finish them, rip them apart. Guts flying out, spine flying out, blood flying out. That's what they did to LAFC. And Kucho's like, I'm going to give it to Jason. You rip him in half, Mortal Kombat style, Mr. Jester Smiling Friend style. You rip him in half, Spamtopia style. Boom. I'll let you do it. Because you should have got the header. You deserve a goal. Boom. Game over. And let me tell you, Columbus went into this match dominating the first half and doing enough in the final four minutes and they win it looks like an ass kicking it was not the first half was it should have been probably two three in the first half i will say that but let me tell you when you look at this match you'll watch again and say it was three one it's not an ass kicking it was not an ass kicking it was a very tight match where both teams had moments to take the lead to dominate to have a half of their own lafc Possession-wise, yeah, they were down for most of the match, possession-wise, but that second half I thought was LAFC's. I really did. I think Columbus were shaky. I think LAFC came out better with their subs, and they got back into the match. They lost, but they got back into the match and could have won it by themselves as well. It could have went the other way. It could have been 3-1 the other way, a similar way. It could have. So when you look at it, it's a situation of, hmm, who's the better side? Who really kicked whose ass? Both kicked each other's ass. LAFC just landed knockout, or got a knockout punch, landed on them, I should say. Columbus landed the knockout punch. They finished a Mortal Kombat, Spamtopia, you know, that type of thing. So the question is, you look at the football that was played by both sides, and you say, okay, Columbus deserved to win. LAFC fought hard, but it was always Columbus. And that's exactly what I thought. And by the way, I was two for two on my third place and final predictions. Two and oh this day, Colorado won, Columbus won. I was right. Third place, Colorado. Second place, LAFC. First place, 
Columbus. They lift the trophy. Congratulations. Player of the game. Man of the match for me is Cucho. Two goals, one assist. That's, that's man of the match. Don't need anything else to say. Two goals, one assist. Should have been three, maybe. Hat trick. Yeah, three points, though. That's man of the match. Cucho gets it. With that being said, there you go. Columbus did exactly what they needed to do. LAFC got owned again on Columbus's turf. Again. Columbus are them. Sadly enough, they had the shits when they were in Pachuca. If they didn't, man, they could have won a treble. Well, they still can. Well, not still can, but they still could have won a treble this year and then won the MLS Cup, Champions Cup, Leagues Cup treble. They could probably do it two straight years, you know, as in they could have done it. MLS Cup going into CCL and Leagues Cup, then the MLS Cup coming out of it. But they couldn't because, you know, they got the shits in Pachuca, which, you know, I'll never let them live that down because, you know, I won't. But I won't. But... It's not an excuse, and Nancy didn't really say it as an excuse, but come on. Don't bring it up if you don't want it to be talked about. With that being said, congratulations, Felicidad is Columbus. Commiserations, LAFC. We have our League's Cup champion. We have our top three. We have our three CONCACAF spots filled. And LAFC, if they beat Seattle and get some revenge and get angry and win that game and Indy 11 beat SKC, which is very possible... We have a USL team in the Champions Cup. We'll find that out on Tuesday. We'll also find out if Toronto FC makes the Canadian Championship Final, which that's what we'll really be covering. With that being said, I will see you Tuesday. Don't know if it's here. Don't know if it's up there, depending if it's on FS2 or not. I will see you on Tuesday for a live watch along and review of Toronto FC versus Forge FC, the second leg of the Canadian Championship Final, or semifinals, to get to the Canadian Championship Final, semifinals. And then Wednesday, Thursday, CONCACAF Central American Cup. I think it's all Central American. I'll check to see which ones are the most meaningful, and that's the ones we'll do on Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, we're off. Saturday, TFC plays again at home against DC, live RSR. Sunday, I think we're doing Domingo Futbolero. So there you go. With that being said, I'll see you Monday off, but I'll see you on Tuesday. I'm Ron, and I'm out. Peace. Congratulations, Columbus. Felicidades.